Greetings to you, beloved saints of God, who are members of the Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church. I pray that this message finds you in good health and strength and that you are prospering even as your soul does prosper. I want to first of all say to you that we're thankful that God is able to heal from all manner of disease and infirmity. So we pray that you would continue to keep praying for those among us who are sick and shut in and even those who are going through their seasons of bereavement. We thank you for your prayers for our own dear mother and sister as they they are continuing to recover and hopefully will be home and back up again very soon. And so we're certainly thankful that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we're able to ask or think. And we thank God for his wisdom and even those things that are yet out of our control and even beyond our understanding. So we celebrate all of those things that are taking place and even in our nation there is uh, continuing to be recovering, so we're, we're grateful to God for that. As it relates to the life of this ministry, we certainly thank God for all that he's doing here. And again, I say uh, we want to continue to keep up the great uh, protocol and the obedience to that protocol that has been established for it has helped us thus far since the month of March to be able to continue to meet. I am looking forward to sharing some stuff with you on Sunday morning for those of you who are here and even those who tune in on the broadcast about some opportunities that are before us perhaps to minister in the month of November. November will kick off the holiday season and it's also a season it's also a season where many will experience heartache over the loss of loved ones. And so uh, an opportunity to minister and just be in present be present in some person's lives to be prayerful with them uh, to have an opportunity to offer some things to uh, community uh, persons as well. So we'll share that on Sunday with you prayerfully just some ideas that we have going forward. And we'll have a pastor's moment for those things. Also, I want to say that in the month of November, uh, we would normally be meeting with the Locust Grove Church family. And this year, we're going to bypass that, but we're going to look at doing something a little bit later, um, early in the year, in the, in the spring, perhaps, of 2022, as things do improve as we go for. And we also pray for our community during this time. We want to have special prayer the broken hearted for those who are bound. We have not done that the last two weeks. We want to get back to that on Sunday. Please also remember that this Sunday we will have the opportunity to share with our young people as they will come through um, in the trunk or treat that will follow the worship experience. Now I want to say this. I don't intend to be harsh, but I do intend to be uh, honest with you all. Uh, we want to make sure that our young people are in place on Sunday morning for worship. It does matter if you're here for that and that you're not just coming uh, for the candies and those things that will be given out afterwards. Amen. Uh, for those in the community, we certainly invite them to come and participate in those things. But for our members, we're encouraging you uh, to be here with us as we are on our way back in to the house of God. Being together does matter. We don't, do understand that some have some health risks and that's keeping you away from uh, the sanctuary on Sunday and when we gather. But for those who don't have those issues and you're just uh, hanging out, we encourage you, we strongly encourage you to consider returning back to uh, worship and sharing because there are some things in the ministry uh, that you're needed for. Amen. You're needed for and you're desired for in your service. And so we want to make sure that we're doing our part in the ministry. It has been rough on everyone involved, not only in this church, but in the life of uh, the churches across our nation, across this world to transition and 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 think about ministry in different uh, aspects, different, different aspects and different ways of ministering uh, in this season. It's been challenging, but nevertheless, as we follow the Spirit of God, He is always leading us to the place where we are profitable in the kingdom building and also fruitful uh, in the vineyard of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray that you're finding your place, you're continuing to serve, and you're continuing to go forth in that regard. I do want to remind you there's also the opportunity throughout the winter months to donate to uh, the homeless shelters, those winter items that you're not using or that you may feel led to go out and purchase. Uh, please don't hesitate to do that. Uh, that's a part of our church anniversary celebration, and so that continues throughout the winter months as we go forth there. And then we're also looking at some tangible things in a physical sense of being present in some places that we're able to do some things in the next few months, November, December, uh, that will be a blessing to the members of our community. So be prayerful about that. Be uh, and Let's be intentional about that, and we'll discuss some of those things, as I mentioned, and we'll share some stuff with you on Sunday for those who, of you who are tuned in. 
um, really the next few weeks, the messages that I'm really going to be dealing with are really going to be dealing with the sanctification of the believer and why it matters in the life of those that we've been called to serve, that God is doing a work that he has done in our life for the benefit of those that we are impacting and those we're interacting with. So uh, be in tune for that. I'm not saying it's a series, but it will be heavily uh, leaning toward um, that theme and that topic for the next few weeks. And so please be mindful of that. Please share that. Um, and we just look forward to what God has in store for us. God bless you as you go forth today. Continue to serve him and may his grace continue to be with you. And as much as his spirit is within you, be obedient. For in your obedience, you will definitely find your way to what pleases him. God bless you. Love you. Praying for you always.